Hmm, that ritual. What's up guys, Registered Dietitian Kara Corey here, back for another quick and easy recipe. Today we're gonna make a single serve rich chocolate salted caramel chip cookie. It's gonna be delicious, quick and easy. We are not gonna use the oven. All we're gonna do is pop this baby in the microwave and you're gonna have yourself a delicious single serve cookie in 30 seconds. So to get started, all you're gonna need is one bowl that we're gonna mix everything in, and then I've got a separate bowl over here that we're gonna put the cookie in to microwave it. But to begin, we are gonna start with a egg yolk. We're not gonna use the actual whole egg, so I already do have my egg cracked open, but I'm just gonna scoop up and truly only use the yolk, the good stuff all the fats and B vitamins. Next, we're gonna add in some coconut oil, and I already scooped out five grams of coconut oil, melted it in the microwave for about 45 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right into my egg yolk. All right, so that is going to be our fats for the cookie portion of the recipe. Next, for sweeteners, I'm going to use a Splenda brown sugar. I do prefer using the brown sugar for this cookie because I think it gives it more of a cookie flavor. And I'm going to just eyeball here about a half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of that. And then in addition to that, to make it even sweeter, I'm using the Better Stevia dark chocolate drops. And we're just gonna add several drops in the bowl. If you don't have this and you want it sweeter, you can add Splenda, you can add honey, maple syrup, you name it, just some kind of sweetener anything really goes here. And we're gonna add some pure vanilla extract. I'm not gonna measure that, because I usually don't. About a teaspoon-ish of vanilla extract in there. And that just, again, gives it that nice cookie flavor. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this. You can add regular salt, sea salt. I've just got pink salt here. We're gonna add a couple cranks to that. Believe it or not, the salt does help with the flavor of the cookie. Not necessarily to give it a salty flavor, but it just brings out the sweet flavors in the cookie. So at this point, go ahead and mix that up. So once you stir that up, you're left with like this caramely, brown sugary goodness in there. And we're gonna go ahead and use our protein now. This is gonna be a protein cookie. And today I am using the MTS Whey in Cookies and Cream. Or if you have the peanut butter cookies and cream, that's also really good in this recipe. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a half a scoop of that protein to this. And to make it extra chocolatey, we're gonna add some special dark cocoa in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a full tablespoon of that. Next, we are gonna add some flour to this recipe. So I'm gonna use this white whole wheat flour just cause it's what I have on hand. And I'm gonna add in one fourth of a cup of that flour. And again, go ahead and stir this up. So don't worry, your batter is gonna be crumbly and still dry. So what we're gonna do is add in some milk and add in a little bit of almond milk. Just do it a tablespoon at a time and stir it up till you get the right amount in there. Do one more tablespoon. Two full tablespoons of almond milk was all I needed to get that perfect cookie dough batter consistency. At this point, just go ahead and take your bowl and transfer it on in there. So now I'm just going ahead and spreading this evenly onto the bottom of the bowl. So your cookie's down there. Last but not least, the caramel portion of this, we are going to add in some sea salt caramel chips. That's what gives it the caramel goodness. You can obviously substitute this with other chocolate chips if you want or if you want to omit them, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna measure out a half a tablespoon of the sea salt caramel chips. I'm gonna kinda be strategic about this because I wanna, you know, have them evenly dispersed in the cookie here. All right, so your cookie is ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and add that in the microwave for 30 seconds. Who doesn't love coffee and a cookie? It's a delicious combo. All right, 30 seconds has passed. Our cookie came out perfect. Now, if you want it to be cooked a little more through, you could cook it for maybe 35 to 40 seconds. I like to keep it so that there's still like some meltiness in there because that's just how I like my cookie, a little bit undercooked. I like to just eat it right out of the bowl. All right, guys, it's that easy. 30 seconds, you have yourself a delicious cookie. 
I'm gonna enjoy myself my cup of joe with my guilt-free cookie here. Be sure to head over to tigerfitness.com, get yourself some cookies and cream if you don't have it on tap, plus loads of other goodies such as ritual for your coffee, get yourself some regulator, keep that gut health up to par, and lots more, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you try it out, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing it when you guys make these recipes. And I hope to see you guys at the Arnold in a few weeks where everyone comes up to me and says, hey, you're that girl that does all the recipes, right? Don't be shy, let's get a selfie together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.